Orchestra, and welcome to the exciting world of hip. Good morning. I'm Andrea Jackson with your wake up call for Thursday, February 3rd, 2011. It was all fun and protests until the rally turned violent. This is where the Egypt conflict gets a bit dicey. At one point, men were dueling on camels and horseback while soldiers stood by and watched. Three killed, 600 hurt. Stay tuned. Cyclone Yasi hit Northeast Australia as a Category 5 storm with 190 mile per hour winds and 30 foot waves. One of the biggest storms on record for or the folks down under. Fallout from the storm, sugar prices have hit a 30-year high. While a massive blizzard has paralyzed most of the U.S., Punxsutawney Phil, the furry optimist, sees an early spring in our future. Now, if he could only do something about the flight delays, Chicago's two airports shut down for an entire day, grounding 6,000 flights and disrupting all connections through O'Hare and Midway, bringing the total of canceled flights this week to 13,000 across the U.S. A new study suggests college is not for everyone. If you're not feeling it in middle school, you're most likely better off going down the vocational path. Interested in buying a social network? MySpace is for sale. News Corp bought the site for 580 million bucks in 2005. Make them an offer. And Vera Fawcett's red swimsuit, made famous in her iconic 1970s poster, is calling the Smithsonian home. It arrived Wednesday, Vera's birthday, thanks to Ryan O'Neill. Your New York weather forecast, sunny and windy, highs in the 30s. That is your Thursday morning wake-up call. I'm Andrea Jackson. I'll ring you in the morning. Be good.